Hello everyone, and welcome back to Kulat. We're still in the caves. Haven't made much progress except for, you know, almost falling off a waterfall and, you know, almost getting eaten by a monster back there that's blocking our way and is, hopefully it's not glitched out. But besi besides that, nothing happened. Um, there were two other paths up here. So I think we will go down those paths before we come back and try to get deal with the jerk back there. All right, here it is, the crossroads. So I already jumped down. I have no choice but to move forward. But which way is forward, I don't know just yet. Hello? Oh, God. Oh, I feel that right down my spine. Don't break, please. Thank you. What's this? Besides creepy, what is this? Ooh, mushrooms, let's eat some. It's perfectly normal, right? What am I doing here? What am I hoping to accomplish? Oh, is this just a way out? What is this? What the hell? Where the hell am I? Oh, I'm all the way over here. So being in here is not where I need to be. I think I need to go back the way I came. Hopefully this hasn't blocked me somehow. So yeah, I think that's the, the right way to go, but I'm going to go the other way. That's creepy. Um, can I go up there? No, I can't. Okay, I'm going to go the other way. See if maybe there's a note I can read to save my progress because I don't want to have to come all the way back here. I really don't. Man, the acoustics in here are so cool. Everything's bouncing back and distorting. I'll probably turn on my light. Makes it easier to see. For all of us. It's a totem, but it's like it was picked up by the vines. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, I've discovered something I was not expecting at all. I can't get over there. I want to get over there. Ugh, fine, I'll go back this way. There's another way over there. There's a totem and another fire. I think this is the fire that I saw from the other side of the cave. I don't know which way to go. I'm gonna go this way. There's mushrooms all over the place. Don't fall off, damn it. That's what I was trying not to do. Oh, game. We're gonna have to have a talk. I just wanted to find a note. Oh, there's where I fell down over there. I don't know if there's anything in there, if that's just a troll, but... On we go! Alright, we're back at the creepy root tunnel thing. Um, I'll try to get past the guy this time, but... I... I really don't want to risk it, but I don't have much of a choice, do I? Just run, 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 run! Okay, I just ran past him like an idiot! Fun. Oh, shit, there's another one. Oh, shit. Are you back over here? Okay, he's gone. Get the letter, get the letter, get the letter. Yes! Whew, okay. Confidential correspondent of section 22 scientists. Doctor, I tested sh subject number. They did not show any supernatural skills. You had to make a mistake. Sincerely, Doctor. Doctor. Wow, there's lots of doctors, Doctor, Doctor. I agree with you. The second test did not show any skills. We may deem the experiment concluded and unsuccessful. The subject should be removed. We will prepare transport to Wadimir, Waldemir, whatever, 30. 
Please destroy all documentation and correspondence. Sincerely, Doctor, Doctor, Doctor. Doctor, 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 can I please have that damn knife now? I know it wouldn't work, but I would feel better if I had it. Can I go anywhere in here? I don't think I can. Oh, hi, how you doing? How? Oh, oh, hi, oh, Jesus. Uh. Hi. Was this little little camera thing necessary? I wonder if I can get him to come over this way. Get him away from here. You don't see me. You see nothing. I don't know if you guys can see him in the dark. Run, 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 run! Yeah! Okay. Oh shit, there's one right there! Holy hell. Uh... I don't know if coming in here was a good idea! Oh! Damn it! I'm <laughs> scared by a damn loud noise. It's a cheap jump scare. Hopefully they can't come in here after me. Hello? No? Good. Oh boy. Oh, I don't like this. <sighs> what the hell? 2177 East. Northeast, whatever. Hello? Are you real or am I insane still? <sighs> where? Where? I didn't see him. There. there you are. I see you. You jerk. Go away. I'm going this way. Screw you. Oh, wait. There's something here. Get the note. Get the note. Get the goddamn note. <sighs> Finally, we made it to the pass. Finally, I got Thank the note. God, we made it. On our way, I felt someone was following us. I heard strange whispers around. I sometimes even caught a glimpse of a moving shadow in the trees. There were moments I could feel someone's breath upon my shoulder. But when I stopped still, hearing the snow crunching under one's boots, and turned around, there was nobody there. I had the impression this is a place of some horrid altar of madness. Nothing is as it should be. Or, or it's some kind of a nightmare. And then we found the bodies. Something told me not to look, but it looked like something was sticking out, or maybe there was just some voice in my head which kept repeating, go down there, go. I can hear it clearly even now. So I went down and found the remaining four. The way they looked, what on earth could have happened to them? I'm not able to describe it in detail. Smashed skulls, twisted limbs, broken ribs, torn, cut, or burnt skin. Never ever have I seen anything like this. A gruesome image of madness or some sick experiment. As if someone or something played with them and abandoned the destroyed toys in the forest. I felt madness was slowly but firmly overcoming my soul. Great story. Um, can I get out of here now? Because there is one of those things in here with me. So. Still haven't found a monument, though. Unless this is supposed to be the monument. Actually, let's check. Was it? Yeah, that was the monument right here. Uh. I just heard it teleport. Okay. Fine, whatever. I'll, I'll leave. I'll gladly leave. Okay. We have some breathing room at least. At least I didn't have to run out of this place. Not knowing where to go. Ooh, way out. So we're done here. I'm assuming. There's a fire up there. Let's see if I can get to it. Okay, well, I'm out of the caves, thank God. You know how I said earlier in the series that I would like to play this game with the Oculus Rift? Yeah, I don't. Especially not in those tight corridors. Alright, where do we want to go next? We only have three other places we can actually go to. Where? Actually, let's get out of here so I can actually look at the map from far away. Where would I want to go? I'm assuming there'd be something over here, so somewhere near, oops, somewhere near 45. There's one at 45. Both 40, 4395 and 4584. So 4395. 
three. Oops. 95. Be over here somewhere. I'm in the caves. So if I go back... Actually, teleporting back would be a bad idea if I got back on the trail that I'm assuming I was just on and follow it all the way around and then down past this uh, lake. I should be able to find it. Alright, I guess that's what we're going to do. I guess just going in that unlocks it, so I don't need to worry about unlocking it now. Damn it. I didn't mean to go down this way, but whatever. As long as I don't die. What the hell? I just kind of floated off. Alright, okay, I'm assuming I'm going the right way. Again, I'm not exactly sure. Let's see here. I think I hear water. Is that water or music? Probably music. And wind. Wind, lots of wind. We have uh, totems here, though. Hello, Mr. Totems. Ah, here we go. 2993, this will tell me exactly where I am. Perfect. It's exactly where I want to be. Alright. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me get the hell down here and. This will just follow the totems. All those weird symbols. And there's more over there. What the hell are these things? Why are they so pronounced over here? Oh, I'm sure these mean something. And it would benefit me greatly if I could understand them. Okay. Okay, there's a note in there. Really? You're gonna make me read this? Is that Native American? That looks like a almost a Native American name. It's, uh, it's here uh, near Nevada. Actually, I think Death Valley's in California, but it's right next to Nevada. God, it's hot there. I can only imagine. Anthony Nisne, a scientist and expert on the Shaka Republic, set off to the rural the area of Ulysses. Oh, I cannot read that. Known as Death Valley. Okay, so it's not the same Death Valley as in, in America. Never mind. What? What did he? What? What has he discovered there? What are the mysterious constructions buried in the ground? Only here you can get the answers. The other unbelievable facts concerning this godforsaken place on Earth. I set off at dawn. If you had not seen dawn by the river Vilia, you have not seen the most beautiful thing on the planet. This is a magical place, full of nostalgia of what mankind has lost. Freedom, space, nature, wild and uncontrollable. There is no place for compromises, because this region is as beautiful as it is dangerous. I arrived in Death Valley around noon. The area stretches out over an area of 100,000 square kilometers, so you have to know what you are looking for. Luckily, I had a great guide. We stumbled upon the first building more or less after two hours of walk. Not much can be deciphered by observing a pile of ground from the outside, but the readings clearly show that what is beneath is at least seven meters in diameter. It reminds a large buried church with protruding edges. It is also difficult to determine how many such buildings exist in the area. I talked to the natives, and from what I gathered, there are at least 11 constructions scattered around in different places in the valley. What could these enormous mounds mean? Many inhabitants claim that they, many inhabitants claim that they have something to do with the Tunsk the Tunguska event? There is a common ground for countless unexplained stories of folk tales. For example, I have heard of a hunter named Arlaman. Okay. As he was not able to, be, to find any game, he went deeper into the forest until he got lost. He was sure he was going to die when he found a strange construction. Suddenly, the ground shook and, secret, and a secret door opened. A man came out and gave Arlaham just one advice. Protect yourself against the orange light. He got out of the forest after a week. Until now, it's impossible to confirm this mysterious meeting, but I heard the story from Arlem's granddaughter herself. Okay. That's, that's wonderful. Well, I feel safe behind this freezing waterfall, so uh, we'll leave it off here. <laughs> I guess we'll continue down the path and see what else we can find. 
This has been Boylag, signing off. Look out! No, god damn it! I didn't know that was gonna turn that on! <laughs>